Okay guys, our problem here, it says your order KCL 10 MEQ to be administered to a 44 pound child. Direction, we have to dilute in 100 ml D5 water and give at 25 ml per hour over 4 hours. And according to the PDR, the rate should not exceed 3 MEQ per kilogram per 24 hours. Is the order dose safe? So, first and foremost, uh, we have to analyze the problem. Remember, we have an order that we have to give a 10, M, uh, 10 mill equivalents of potassium to a 44-pound child. And the direction, we have to dilute this one in 100 cc of D5 water, and we have to give it at 25 ml per hour. And is it safe? If the recommended dose or the recommended rate should not exceed, should be equal or less than 3 mill equivalents per kilogram of 20, um, per 24 hours of potassium so um, first step is we have to know 25 ml per hour is how many milliequivalents per hour is this one okay so uh, we can uh, we can make our equation like this then meq so this is our ordered dose and then it should be diluted to 100 ml so as you could see uh, uh, by ratio and by, by fraction, this uh, where, where uh, the patient, the child is receiving what, one meq per 10 ml. Okay, but this is not enough because we're going to run it at 25 ml per hour. So we have to cancel that ml. So we have to put 25 ml here as our numerator in order for us to cancel both ml. And then the hour we have to put hour here. So now the our child or the child that's weighing 44 pound is now receiving meq per hour okay so let's cancel the zero now zero from the numerator and the zero one zero from the denominator so this is equivalent to 25 over 10 so let's cancel zero that uh the dot there should go here so we're giving the patient 2.5 MEQ per what per hour so the patient is receiving 2.5 MEQ per hour is this safe and again the idea of being safe is it should not exceed 3 MEQ per kilogram per 24 and that is according to our PDR so let's now compute for 3 MEQ per kilogram per 24 hours how much or how many M, uh, how many milliequivalents is this okay so let's find out. So uh, three. So uh, three milli equivalents over kilogram. Okay. Over twenty four hours. Over twenty four. Twenty four hours. Okay. So in order for us to cancel kilogram, uh, we have to put kilogram on top. Okay. And one kilogram is how many pounds? Two point two pounds. And why did we uh, why do we want to get pounds here? Why do we want to convert uh, pounds to kilogram? Is because patient is weighing what forty four pounds, and we should arrive in a kilogram answer. So cancel kilogram, cancel kilogram, and we want to cancel pounds. So the pound should be denominator or numerator. It should be numerator, and that is forty four pounds. Okay, so 44 pounds now we can cancel pounds and pounds so uh, what do we have here so what do we have here right now is we just have to multiply 3 times is 44 okay so let's multiply 3 times 44 is equivalent to 132 and then divided by divided by 2.2 so that is equivalent to 60 okay so this is equivalent to 60 MEQ okay, 60 MEQ or mill equivalents and then per what per 24 hours so as you could see um, this one 20, uh, 60 MEQ in 24 hours if we're going to divide this one we will get a we will get MEQ per hour okay so 60 divided by 60 divided by 24 
So 60 divided by 20, uh, 60 MEQ divided by 24 hours. So that is equivalent to 60 divided by 24 is equivalent to 2.5 MEQ per hour. So question here is, is the ordered dose safe? Yes, it is safe because because the hourly dose ordered is the same as the safe hourly dose.